And for the many military residents impacted by the water contamination, they say they feel validated with the results of the investigation. But the trust they say for the Navy, well, that may be irreparable. Max Rodriguez continues our coverage in a story that's new at 10. For thousands of residents, it's been an uphill battle to get the truth about the contamination of their water. On Thursday, the Department of Health sharing with the public the Navy's command investigation about the Red Hill fuel spill, something many already knew in their gut. It was good to feel validated. Finally, they're listening and being like, okay, we can't hide it anymore. There's no way we can cover it up. But that's what it felt like, that they, they thought they could get away with just ignoring us, covering it up. The Navy's findings say the fuel spill from May 2021 failed to properly follow procedure during a fuel transfer. And a failure to properly account for all of that fuel led to the second spill on November 20th, when it was released by a train cart that struck a valve. As a result, the fuel contaminated the drinking water for thousands of military residents. The Navy admitting human error played a role in these events. For the thousands affected by the contaminated water, the trust has been broken. They say the Navy was slow to admit to the contamination of the water and the events that led to it. They were well aware that they needed to um, close down those tanks and the fact that they ignored it. They not only felt the military family, but they felt their own people that live on this island. Some residents who once lived at the affected areas like AMR have now moved. They say they no longer felt safe raising their families in that community. I wanted to feel comfortable in using my appliances, using my washing machine, um, being able to take a shower when I want to, being able to wash my kids in water and not have to boil it. The Navy says if everything goes to plan, the Red Hill storage tanks will be completely defueled by December 2024. But for some, that is far too long. The bottom line is easy, right? Like we, we want it shut down ASAP. And we know that 2024, December 2024, is just far too long. And that's, it's as simple as that. Like, you, our lives are on the line. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.